Good morning, everyone. This is Kate Weldon LeBlanc, Executive Director of Resolve New England. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the 27th Annual Fertility Treatment, Donor Choices, and Adoption Conference. It's our 27th, but it's our first that is 100% virtual. So thank you so much for taking this leap with us and joining us uh, for this virtual conference. And we do wish we could be together in person, but we've really been embracing the really great things about a virtual conference. And one of them is that hopefully you're cozy somewhere watching this uh, with a loved one, hopefully, and uh, you're relaxing at home and watching this. And so grab your cup of tea or coffee. I have my tea here. You know, of course, this is a judgment-free zone. If you have a mimosa or a Bloody Mary, that's fine too. We support all of it, um, but as I said, on behalf of our board and of my wonderful colleague, Kirsten DeSorbo, it's really my pleasure to be the first person this morning to officially welcome you to our virtual conference. And so this morning, I just wanted to, in my welcome, just give you a little bit of a brief overview of the day, just to give you a few tips to make it as convenient and comfortable as possible to get together in this new way. And I definitely want to start, as I usually try to start most days, with gratitude. And the first thank you I want to make is to all of you for being here, because even though this is virtual, and maybe in some ways that's easier than walking into a hotel room, a hotel ballroom of strangers that you don't know, it's still a step to you know, sign up for this conference. And we appreciate that, whether it's in person or virtual. So first of all, thank you to you. And then a very big thank you to one of our sponsors, EMD Serono. They are a sponsor of this conference, which we appreciate so much. And they also are a steadfast supporter throughout the year of all three parts of our mission, but particularly advocacy. And we truly could not do our advocacy work to the extent that we're able to without their support. So huge thanks to EMD Serono. We also wanna thank another conference sponsor, Faring Pharmaceuticals. Faring, thank you so much for being such a faithful supporter of this conference and of our work. We really appreciate it. And we also wanna send a big thank you to the Cummings Foundation. We are overjoyed that Resolve New England was selected as a Cummings Foundation grant recipient this year. They uh, give 100 grants of $100,000 a year, which is just amazing. That's just part of what the Cummings Foundation does. And we were very blessed to be one of those 100 grants, uh, which we will be splitting up over three years. So that really makes our work possible. We are always so grateful to our circle of support, which are our signature corporate sponsors throughout the year, and many of them are here uh, as exhibitors and supporters. So thank you to all the organizations in our circle of support and to all those that are here today as exhibitors because they make this event possible. Speaking of making this event possible, the speakers who are incredible and that are here to lead your educational sessions today are awesome. Unfortunately, I can't pay them. so. Truly big thanks that they are here of their own true dedication to our community and their desire to be helpful. So we love them so much. Um, so I just wanted to share some tips. So a couple um, things, some of the sessions will be held on what's called the main stage. And that is um, when there will only be one offering at that time. So um, like this. Um, and soon our keynote speaker, who you're going to love, uh, and a panel that will be later in the day. All of those will be on the main stage. And in between, there will be breakout sessions where uh, you choose which one that you want to go to. And um, we've given you 10 minutes between sessions to kind of find where you want to be. Uh, we're not walking down the hall of the hotel anymore, but we wanted you to have a little time to find where you're going. And if any of the sessions end earlier than was scheduled, that is totally fine. We actually think, you know, you're going to need a break to stand up and stretch out and maybe get a refill of your coffee or whatever. So that time, if there's ever extra time, that will be a good thing to do. 
also you can feel free to go to other sessions um, if you if one has ended and one is still going you can um, go into another one you're not disturbing anyone you're not visible so don't worry about um, doing that and as you likely know you could pre-register for sessions but you didn't have to so even if you're not registered once you're logged into the system as a registered attendee you can view any content and you also can go back after today and watch all the recorded content anytime over the next month. So again, that's one good thing about a virtual conference is we often heard, which is so nice in past years, people have said about our in-person conference that it was hard to choose which sessions to go to. So now uh, you really can attend all of them eventually. So that will be great. Um, the other thing I wanted to share uh, is that while you're in the, any of the speaking sessions, please put your questions in the Q&A box. Please put your comments in the chat section. We really want this to be as interactive as possible. Like I said, we're missing that feeling of being together. So the more you can engage, um, the better this will be for all of us. And the speakers always really, really want to take your questions. Um, you know, usually, obviously, they can't get into a lot of detail around your particular situation, although many of them are willing to connect with you offline. Uh, but especially if you have kind of a general question, even if, if it's based in your personal experience, that would benefit the whole group, please feel free um, to put those kind of questions in the uh, Q&A box and in the chat. And um, the other great thing is we have set aside time. Uh, hopefully many of you, even before you're hearing this address, visited some of our virtual exhibit booths. We're so excited about those. Each exhibitor has taken such care to personalize their booth like they do when we're in person. Uh, so we really encourage you to go to those booths. Again, you won't be visible. Um, you'll be able to interact with them in a variety of ways, including requesting a one-on-one -on -one meeting in many cases but really just drop into those booths and check out what they have and interact with the wonderful staff that are there um, because uh, they're really here to help you and they have incredible resources. And I know you may glance at a name and not recognize it or not think that it applies to you, but uh, there's really great information and resources at every booth. Um, so I really encourage you um, to check that out. And another incentive, not just are they wonderful people and resources, but the more active you are throughout this day, throughout this event, the more points you get um, for on a Cell Events platform, which is how you're gonna win potentially some of the raffle prizes, which we're just gonna be popping up uh, in the chat during the course of the day to give some of those prizes away. So the more you visit and the more you post in the chat, things like that, that's what gets you points for some of the raffle prizes. Uh, we have an incredible raffle prize though also that was donated by Tiny Treasures Egg Donation Agency, the Stein Law Firm and attorney Kathy Delisle, who's one of our speakers today. And I will drop in the chat a link for you to check out more of the raffle prizes, but they collectively have donated the agency fees and legal fees related to do doing a donor egg cycle. So this is a prize that's valued at about $7,000. So thank you to all of our friends, Julie, Christy, and Kathy for donating this prize. So this prize, obviously not everyone would need or want um, to win a donor egg cycle and we want it to go to someone who really wants this prize. Uh, so if you haven't already and you want to win this prize, please let me know. You can email me, you can email us at admin or my own personal email, with, which I think you all have because I've been emailing you this week. Or if you're comfortable, put it in the event chat. Um, I just wanna make sure we know who wants this prize so that we can get it to you as quick as possible. Right now uh, is a really special part of our morning program, which usually is in person. Uh, but one of our most treasured traditions at the conference is to give away our advocacy award. Last year, our award was given to State Senator Martha Hennessy of New Hampshire, who was our lead sponsor and champion of our fertility insurance law in New Hampshire. And we love giving that to her. And this year, Resolve New England is so proud and happy to give our 2020 advocacy award to the Rhode Islanders for Parentage Equality Coalition. The nickname is Rife, and 
This coalition was composed of families, providers, advocates, experts who came together to update Rhode Island's parentage laws, which were decades out of date. They did not reflect the diversity and richness of modern families in, in Rhode Island and in our country. And they were long overdue. And without updating them, many children and families were less vulnerable. So patience is a virtue with family building and with advocacy. But finally, in these kind of dark hours of 2020, we were able to get the Rhode Island Parentage Act passed and signed into law by Governor Raimondo outside in a socially distanced bill signing ceremony. And it was so, so much to do with the Rhode Islanders for Parentage Equality Coalition. I was honored to be part of this coalition. They are fun, they are passionate, they are smart. It was an amazing group. So we are so honored to give our award to the RIPE Coalition this year. And usually we are giving an actual trophy and both because we're virtual and also because there's a whole coalition and we, it would be hard to choose who would get the trophy. So of course we can't celebrate right now, but this group does like to hang out with each other. So when we can celebrate in person, Resolve New England is going to buy the champagne. So congratulations. And many of the RIPE members are here uh, participating virtually today. So congratulations. And I'll be sure to share this news with the full coalition uh, as soon as I can. So I think those were the main things I wanted to let you know for the day. But please, we don't want anyone to feel awkward or uncomfortable with this new platform. So please uh, feel free to always put any questions in the chat today if you're confused about where you should be or what's happening, or if you have any technical difficulties um, at all. We definitely want you to let us know so that we can help fix and address them. Um, and I'll just end by saying, you know, I hear many times in our community uh, at large or just in the world at large, people kind of questioning how they fit into the family building community, you know, if I am a single woman trying to conceive on my own, or if I'm a gay couple really desperately wanting to become parents, or if I have a child, but I'm struggling to have another child. These are just some of the examples of people that we hear that say like, basically, do I belong here? Am I part of this community? And that's a very complex question, uh, but I'll just for now give a really simple answer, which is yes, you do. We feel that we are all part of this community. Whether you're struggling to conceive or whether you're struggling because of loss and sometimes recurrent loss, whoever you are and whatever you're struggling with to make your dream of growing your family come true, you certainly belong here in the Resolve New England community. And we know we always are trying to continually improve our ability to best respond to your needs and uh, to, to be as welcoming as possible. So we are always continually working to get better at that. Uh, and we always want to hear your feedback about that. But we want you to know that we welcome you. And we really won't rest until you feel fully welcome. So I think we'll leave it there for now. And I will be seeing you all day in the chat. And then I'll also be seeing you um, briefly at the very end of the day to say goodbye and to announce the winner of the donor egg cycle. And uh, I think that's it. So have a great day. And next up is our incredible keynote speaker. I got a sneak peek, uh, lucky me. It's Regina Townsend, who is the founder of the Broken Brown Egg. And you are gonna love her talk. I think it's the perfect tone for our day. And I'll see you, I'll see you around the virtual halls of this event. See you later. Bye.